Hello everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Unlock X70. Now, a lot of the owners have modified the front grille uh, to the RS version or the uh, cat added versions that is uh, quite uh, unique. So, one of the major problems was the placement of the front camera. You're no longer able to align it exactly where the original grille is. So there's some minor issue or offset on the 360 camera. Now, not only this is one of the uh, issue that some owners face, but there are owners that resets or upgrade the uh, player faces an issue whereby the uh, stitching of the 360 camera is not really that good. So what I'm going to share with you is a hidden function. I would say a hidden function more towards a service center known function some of them know about it i know the manufacturer uh they pick this function in so that it's easy to uh, perform the calibration now before we move on a word from our sponsor this video is sponsored by proton y3 remap service we provide remap service for x70 and x50 increasing the performance of your suv by optimizing the engine performance giving you improved fuel consumption without any extensive mods. All our tunings are safe and proven for years on the road and on dyno. No hardware is being dismantled, no metal during the process of remap. We are back with an experienced engineering team located within Malaysia, so support isn't an issue. For more information, please visit our Facebook page. Thank you. Right, welcome back. First things first, I need to... Uh, inform everyone that I'm not liable for any damage that's caused from uh, this uh, menu or accessing uh, this hidden function. So it's up to you, you're responsible for your action. If you deem that uh, you're not able to take up this responsibility, please don't proceed further. This is more a, of a uh, knowledge sharing and during this MCO period, some of the owners have difficulty going to the service center and you might try to tinker around and uh, help yourself on the uh, settings. Now, please be warned, if you've done something wrong, you may break the system. So, don't contact me. Check with your service center. If not, don't touch on it. Take it as an education. Okay? Okay. Before we proceed further, uh, make sure you have an X70. Now what I have here is uh, your common X70 menu. And if I go to my system in settings, yeah, so I have the latest version as everyone else. Okay, so it's just your normal GKUI, nothing funny, nothing special. Okay, now there are two modes. For the first mode, we call it the 360 auto mode stitching. Let me switch off the light so it's easier for you to see. Okay, your normal 360s camera, initiate, it's going to look like this. Okay. So they inside the function, you can press the function, there is a reset to factory calibration. Now it has its own setting of 360 camera stitching that's designated for stock. Now if your car has been modified, uh, there are two, two ways. I would say there's only one way, but I'll show you the first method. First method requires a uh, mat around the 360, uh, not the 360, around the vehicle. So what kind of mat, don't ask me, maybe the service center will know. So they will place the placement around so that the 360 uh, camera software will identify and self-stitch. Okay, to access this function, go on to your phone. Okay, now go to the Dell function okay so the code for it is let me see if I still remember
Yep. I'm not going to read it out. So you've seen what I key in. So this is the auto calibration function where you will see that it's attempting to find the mark markers from the map to self stitch. Now because I don't have it, so I'm not going to perform any of the uh, calibration. My 360 is perfectly fine. Although not perfect, but it's fine for now. So I'll just uh, say no. Then I'll quit from there. Again, this is the code. I'm not going to spell it out. But you, can, you can read it yourself. All right. Now, the next one is a bit controversial. So why do I say it's controversial is... Uh, why do I say it's controversial is because it literally opens up majority of the function including the ADAS, the link, keep assist and all the other function that is critical and it touches on the safety feature so be wary of what you are doing if you are unaware of uh, what the function is uh, try not to middle with it okay all right the second uh, hidden function is wrong code Okay, once you key in, you get to a special graphic user interface. You have the AVM, which is the Around View Monitor, LDW, which is the Lane Detection Warning, BSD is the Blind Spot Detection, Tools is their own tools, Setting is the Vehicle Setting, and uh, DOW is a uh, door open warning. So basically, if some, if you've uh, parked your car and there's a vehicle behind, when you attempt to open the door, it will alert you. So this these are the major functions in the system. So let's quickly go through one of it. I mean each of it. So this is the 360 camera. So once you go in, it's just your normal 360. Okay. If I go back, reinitiate back this. Okay, lane departure warning. So it looks something like this. Okay, my lane departure warning is not working because uh, it might need a bit of calibration or the module is uh, faulty. So uh, for the time being, uh, I'm not touching it because uh, to me, the lane departure warning is a bit annoying. All right. Blind spot monitor, blind spot detection. Apparently we can't go in, that's fine. What about, uh, oh, it hangs. Can still go in. Now we will just skip to the other function. Let's see on tools. Ah, I've been pressing it too fast. Okay, so what you have here is the AVN calibration. So this is the one that uh, if you have your stitching gone out of control, so. It is uh, throwing back with the same function, but that, but then I suppose you can manually add, uh, do the fine tuning from here. So I'm not gonna do it. Uh, sorry, my bad. That one was the auto function. So this is the manual tuning. So I pull back. So your front region, rear region, front angle, rear angle. So this is for the front camera. 
So if it looks a bit uh, fish eye, then you can do a bit of a correction to correct it. Like mine uh, is a bit off because the, if you see this part and uh, this two part here is uh, captured by the uh, side mirrors uh, uh, camera. So I may need to dial in the uh, setting from here manually just to uh, make it look nicer. But to me, it's fine as long as I can see uh, what is in front. So I'm not going to mingle with it. You guys have the time, you can try it out. And probably leave some comment on uh, what what uh, what function uh, it does. Okay. Uh, there is a function for camera snapshot. Don't ask me if it's uh, taking camera. So, uh, I don't know about it. I have never tried with it. I'm not entirely sure why it's OTF. Uh, don't ask me about it. I've tried entering but I can't. Uh, maybe it's exclusive for certain version. This vehicle doesn't come with it. So uh, system diagnose, diagnoto, I'm not quite sure what it is but probably it's a recording. Uh, from stock, I believe that it comes with a DVR. That means it's just like your dash cam recorder, but they never activate it. Don't ask me how to activate it. I also don't know. Okay, these are the few uh, hidden functions uh, that I can showcase to you. Okay everyone, I think that's all I'm going to cover uh, for this uh, 360 function. In terms of the map fine tuning, you guys uh, have to try it out yourself. I'm not brave enough to uh, meddle with the calibration. Whatever works, I'll just keep it as it is. Now if you have uh, some camera viewing which is uh, totally out of uh, alignment and you need to fix the offset, you can do so yourself at your own risk again uh, don't try to matter too much oh one thing I want to show you right while we are back here there's one interesting function let me go back to I believe is under tools A, no Yes, it's under settings and I think I left out this function but never mind let me go through again now there is one unique feature regarding uh, this uh, 360 but unfortunately you cannot do the changes so if you see here sorry for the camera I'm trying to hold while I record you can set the speed that means at what speed you switch off but Unfortunately, for our ISU, it's already hard-coded at 30. So even if you change the setting here, I'm not sure what's the maximum. Maximum is 45. Even though you set at 45, it will still run at 30 as what the manufacturer has set. Turn light, exit delay, all this, I have not really uh, touched on it. But so far, I believe the manufacturer has uh, hard-coded everything. So even if you make the changes here, they're not going to uh, do any changes. You can try out on this uh, AVN 3D setting as well. I don't know whether uh, there's any alteration that happens. Okay. Lane departure warning. There's also the same uh, setting that's here. You can... Uh, see all the function, the screen hold time, how long does it uh, alert you. But unfortunately, it only displays over at your dash meter, but not on your head unit or the ISU. So it's supposed to have some warning sound that you can set, you know, and enable at certain speed. So I don't know whether it's already hard coded or you can still change it from here. 
Now going over to the settings, uh, you can set even more settings over here, but I usually just leave it because I don't, I don't have the uh, function running. In fact, I hate it. Doesn't serve much of purpose for me. So the bug uh, setting is more on debugging. I think it's for the developer. Uh, it's not for us to uh, take the log out lah. Okay. Moving on, we have the next uh, setting, which is blind spot monitoring. So the blind spot monitoring here, equally the same thing. You have the warning hole time and the sound, etc. So whether it's uh, hard coded in the ISU, I don't know. You guys can find out. I just share what it is. All right. This is one of the interesting setting, which is under the system setting. Sorry if the camera shakes a lot. I'm trying to hold it as steady as possible. So you can import and export the setting. You can set the vehicle setting. Let me try to go into vehicle setting. Yeah. So by right, you can actually change the color to whatever color you want. But unfortunately, in our ISU, it's been hard-coded uh, to white color. Lah. And you can supposedly change to other model, but they only keep it as one model. I don't show you if you can change it to SUV, sedan, MPV, but uh, this is how some of the settings are available here. And you can also apply your own custom color. So let's say if I apply red, I don't know whether it will come out. Apply. I will go to advanced setting. Okay, from here you have the dimension of the vehicle. Uh, this one, my advice, don't touch. Because uh, they've already preset the actual setting. So let's not uh, matter with it too much. But it's something good that we know that it comes with the function now the rest of uh, settings I don't want to go too in detail because uh, you guys can find out uh, it's nothing out of the ordinary car speed source is reading from the car line which is the CAN bus uh, car event source reading from the CAN bus will align uh, source which is the uh, steering they read it from the CAN bus so all this don't touch because it's reading from the CAN bus setting if you uh, try to set it to other setting, it cannot read any reading. So your alignment for your steering, your speed, or the 360 doesn't switch off, uh, it could be an issue. Lah. So I'm just showcasing uh, what are the neat features uh, maybe might be of eye-catching. So they have a reset factory. I don't know whether the reset factory will work for us. But most of the time, it's already uh, hard-coded. When I say hard-coded, is even you change the setting here, it doesn't change uh, most of the setting that uh, was preset here. So this is the calibration setting for the camera. Now, they have the auto calibration on. So they have the boot to calibrate enable. Uh, it's set off. But the calibration pattern, uh, this is the one. Whether it's checkerboard or uh, whatever pattern, you can select. So you can probably go Shopee or, or AliExpress to buy the mat and then do your own self uh, alignment. Uh, the mat, I think, is not so expensive. I think that covers it all. Okay, guys. Uh, I hope this information is fruitful uh, to everyone. If you have uh, any questions, uh, feel free to uh, comment. If you like what I do, please like the, uh, the uh, video. And maybe consider subscribe so that I can roll out more features. And I, I mean uh, videos as such. Or if you want me to cover certain topics about X70, please uh, leave your uh, comments, uh, leave, leave the details down to at the comment section. I'll try and see whether I can help to do an episode and uh, cover specifically on uh, your question. Alright, gang. Thank you very much.
Stay safe. Have a nice day.